Hi, this is Zupa Productions, and today I'm going to demonstrate how I draw a patty. Now, as most of you know, messed up. <laughs> most of you know, um, the real patty was a poodle. And I know all the stereotypes that go with poodles, but seriously, she wasn't like that. She was the most unstereotypical poodle I've ever met. And, you know, maybe I'm biased because I, you know, I owned her. But, I wouldn't lie to you. Now, Patty was a miniature poodle. That means she was in between a toy and a standard. But sometimes I wonder, and people, I mean, breeders say that these don't exist. Not technically. They just say they're oversized miniatures, so... I don't know, but... <clears throat> Patty was pretty big, so sometimes I wonder if she was actually a Klein. Ooh. Poor little Paddingkins. I didn't mean to mess up on her like that. Oh well. Start over! That's the beauty of Control Z, people. Control Z, and you never have to remember it again. Haha. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with me and my poodle drawing abilities today. But okay. Third time's a charm. And that one's just gonna have to live there. Sorry, but it is. That is better. A lot better. That is actually way better. <laughs> well, she still looked a little shocked, but oh well. And you know, I got Patty when I was 13. And I got her at the Humane Society. We just found her. We found her in a cage and. The cage said, cannot train. And we're both going, like, what? Because poodles, that's just a non-issue with poodles. Well, <clears throat> whoever gave her up, and we don't know who that was, but whoever gave her up didn't realize that she was already trained. But she just wasn't paper trained. In fact, she was terrified of newspapers. It took her 10 years to get over that fear. <laughs> she was trained to go outside. And wow, let me move that up. <laughs> but yeah, she was trained to go outside. She wasn't trained like you would train a, <clears throat> you know, a, li a little dog. She wasn't trained like that. She was trained to go on to go outside and we like that a lot better because I mean it for some reason it's not working hmm it's not letting me move her up I don't know what that is okay well oh. no 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 come back down dear come back down good girl <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we just found her at the Humane Society. <clears throat> when I was 13. And... Yeah. <laughs> she was... <clears throat> she lived with us for 16 years. And... Last year, June 19th, is... Unfortunately... When she finally... I went to meet her maker. And I haven't really been able to make this video until now. <clears throat> her, I will say this, her passing threw me for a loop. Because she was just one of those... One of those creatures that outlived everybody. 
She outlived a lot of family members. She outlived my grandmother. She outlived Eva. She outlived... <laughs> she outlived one of my aunts. She was always there. And then, finally, it was her turn. And I don't think... There's maybe been one other animal in my life whose death has thrown me for a loop, but hers really did last year. And... See, sometimes my poodle drawing skills... <laughs> Patty, wherever you are, I hope you're not looking down upon me and scowling. <laughs> Patty was the sweetest little dog, and like I said, she wasn't a stereotypical poodle. She was... Well, you know how they portray poodles. Snobby, cliquish, or... Temperamental and vain. She's, she wasn't like that. She loved everybody. I can count the number of times on one hand that she barked or growled at anybody. There were three. That was it. In 16 years, she had three times when she flipped out on somebody. That's pretty good. She loved everybody. She loved cats. She especially loved little kittens. <coughs> In fact, I think she wanted, she wanted a family of kittens to raise. <laughs> But she was a favorite aunt to all the ones that we have. <laughs> yeah. See? Here she is. Now to get color for this, I have to... Here we go. To get color out of that, you choose a previous picture. Now here comes the fun part. See, Patty's kind of easy to color because well, when I drew her, I took total artistic license because I couldn't exactly emulate her coat pattern. I mean, have you ever tried on a poodle? That's hard. Seriously, it's hard. So, what I did was instead of making her orange, it made her yellow. Not totally, totally yellow. Just... She has yellow points. But it fit more of what she looked like in real life than trying to emulate her coat pattern exactly. <laughs> Those curls make it hard for you to decipher an exact coat pattern. I will say that. I will say that Patty, even though as, as good as she was, she did have some flaws. I mean, she did bark. When people say poodles bark, they're not wrong. She barked. But it was usually when she wanted something. And she got to the point in her old age where she would argue with you. If you said no to her, she would bark at you. <laughs> Her favorite food was cheese, craft cheese. That's the only brand she would eat. Is craft. I'm serious. At one point we had her doing something called the craft buggy, and I regret that we never got that on video. But since I have a new baby, Vivi, maybe I'll teach it to her one of these days, because she likes craft cheese too. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, we we don't see we don't know where Patty came from either, and that's one of the reasons why I put her in the book series. And you know, she was actually she's been there from the beginning. Some dogs I didn't have in the book in the beginning, obviously not ones I've drawn yet, but some dogs I didn't have. But she was there right from the beginning. In fact, she was 
there that summer while I wrote the first stories when I was 13 and yes I've been writing those stories since I was 13 but only in 2004 did I start writing the actual book to be published so I've had these guys for a pretty long time <laughs> yeah she's been there since the beginning And she was a heroic little thing, too. I mean, it's not really portrayed that much in the book, but, um, one day when, and, see, I have this thing, I'm deathly afraid of wasp. Deathly. I don't know where that phobia comes from, but if I hear buzzing, I will run screaming from the room. <laughs> and this particular day was no different, because I was, and it was, a few months after we got we'd gotten her too and and a wasp happened to get in my bedroom of course i ran screaming from the bedroom screaming well patty whatever maternal instinct that she had took over and i guess the wasp dive bombed her all of a sudden i hear this really loud snarl coming from my room and i'm like what was that oh did it sting her? You know, because I, I was like, what if she's allergic to wasps? Because it's not a wasp sting, sorry. Because <laughs> some dogs are. And I, I didn't want that for her. Well, I went in there. I took a peek. The wasp was on the floor with its wings ripped off. <laughs> and she also memorized our tornado drill. There had been some times in which, you know, we had to take cover because we live in Tornado Alley too. Obviously not as much as you guys in the Midwest do, but we get them here as well. And Patty memorized our tornado drill. And she would get in the closet with us and sometimes, I will admit, I'm not the best person to follow a tornado drill with. I'm not the best person to be in a storm with at all. But sometimes she would fuss at me and she would get me into the hall and in a few minutes we would have a tornado go over. And sometimes it would be recorded on the news and sometimes it wouldn't be. So she was a good little dog. And please don't let anybody convince you not to get a poodle. Yes, they do require grooming. She required a lot of grooming. I will say that. But if that's the only thing, that, if that's the only thing stopping you from getting a dog, then why are you getting one in the first place? I mean, it's no different from a golden retriever, really. Think about it. Because they, they shed. They require a lot of grooming. And don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking golden retrievers. In fact, I had one of those, too. One of these days, I might draw him. But today's Patty's Day. We always thought that she was probably born sometime in March. So, I do believe in the book she has the birthday of St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I gave a lot of dogs holiday birthdays in Doghouse Chronicles. And the reason why is it's easy to remember. Now, I don't think I've ever given anyone a Christmas birthday because that's, you know, kind of cliche, but and there she is. My former little baby. <laughs> nah, she's still my baby. You know what I That's it. Okay. Thanks for viewing.